Today we're going to be taking a look at the B&W replacement base for the B&W Companion flatbed fifth wheel trailer hitch. Part number is BWRV B3055. Now whether you just needed the replacement base because yours was damaged or you didn't want to rebuy the entire system and you took this head off your existing companion to put on here, at this point you're going to have all the same great features we're used to out of the companion hitch line. Now the companion fifth wheel for flatbeds is really going to give you the best of both worlds in towing. You'll have your gooseneck that's already installed. You want to be sure you have a B&W underbed gooseneck mount hitch installed. And then this is just going to be something you can fit in and get it torqued down with just a single bolt. So it really makes it quick and easy to switch between a fifth wheel if you need it, go back to your gooseneck. And the thing I like about with this fifth wheel when we're not, when we don't have it installed, we're going to have full access to our truck bed, so it's going to go right back flat. One of the big benefits of that turnover ball system. You're not going to have a ball sticking up in the middle of the bed or rails running side to side. Now this particular truck is going to have the CM Truck Beds ER bed. This is going to have the recess in it. The overall width of this is about 18 inches and they've designed the B&W to fit right down in there. It's going to have a total footprint width of about 17 and 3 quarters of an inch and just so you know from the back of it to the front here, it's about 18 inches. Now not only does it work with the recess style like we have here, but also your traditional style flatbed which would just have a single plane all the way across. Now we've had a lot of good experiences with the B&W hitch line, but to go a little bit further, we like to look through what our customers have to say. One that really stood out to me was from Greg W. He said the hitch works perfectly, easy in and out when I need the whole truck bed, awesome product. Now we've talked about why we would want the flatbed companion. Let's take a little bit deeper look at some of the features and what really sets this style apart from others available on the market. The one thing I like about this style setup is this is an all-in-one unit. We could find an adapter that we could put down into the gooseneck and secure it down that would have fifth wheel rails. It kind of looks like an H. Well then you have to get a fifth wheel head to then put in your truck and add into those rails. By going this route, it's going to give you the solution all in one unit with one bolt to tighten down. You're not going to have multiple steps of getting this in and out and I really like that. Another thing I really like about this companion setup and really all of the B&W fifth wheel products are the ease of use with our handles. This is going to have a nice long handle and right up here it's going to offer a cam lever design. So as we open this, regardless of how much pressure we're putting on the dual jaws, we'll just release our clip here. And with that long lever and that cam design, it makes it really easy to open up our jaws. So even if our trailer has a little twist left or right, maybe it's pulling back a little bit or pushing forward a little bit, it's going to be no issue releasing the jaws. Now the jaws are also a very high quality. You can see they're going to be one inch thick. We've got dual jaws. So we have one that's going to come in from each side. And we've got a perfectly machined hole here to hold our kingpin. What that does is put our mock kingpin in. It's going to reduce any of that forward and back or left to right movement. That can lead to that chucking feeling that we sometimes get when starting and stopping, but also leads to noise. So by having that nice snug fit, we're going to help to eliminate both of those. Now we also have a fully articulating head. That's going to help to ease when we're hooking up and when we're disconnecting. Not only will it articulate front and back, and you can see if it gets pushed forward, it naturally wants to come back to a slightly tilted back position. That makes it easy when hooking up your trailer, but also the side to side. Unfortunately, we don't always get to park on level ground or something like that when we need to unhook. And if we have any kind of twist in there, the head will go with that. With that articulation, it's going to help to eliminate any issues with our handle being jammed and our kingpin getting hung up as we try to unhook. Now as far as weight ratings go, we're going to have a 5,500 pound maximum vertical load limit, so that's the maximum force we can put downward on the head, and it's going to offer a 22,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. That's going to be the total weight of our trailer and anything we might load up on it. Of course, you do want to check your owner's manual of your vehicle as well and not exceed its tow rating. Now when you're ready to remove the system, it's really quite straightforward. You'll want to start by removing the pin and clip located on each side. Now with both those removed, we'll lift up on the black handle on each side. 
lift straight up and as you can see our pins are going to stay attached. Now the head's going to ride on the polyurethane bushings we have here on each side. Now the biggest advantage we're going to have with the polyurethane over the older rubber style is really that these don't deteriorate or get misshapen nearly as much as the rubber did. These are going to last a lot longer. We can put tons of miles on these and we're really not going to have to worry about them wearing out. Then to remove the base you just want to loosen up the center bolt. That's what holds it down to the bed. Then at that point we can just lift it up and out. Now securing our king pin to our truck bed, you can see the strap right here. That's going to use the pin from our B&W head. It's going to pull down on the fifth wheel. That's going to compress the rubber pads we have on all four corners and ensure a nice snug fit so we won't have to worry about any twisting. Now we can show you the installation process. The first thing you'll want to do is retract your pin. Then we can place the base right down and in and we release our pin. Next, you'll want to tighten down your center bolt to the specifications that are listed on the base here and also in your instructions. Next, while using our black levers both to hold the head and keep the locks open, we'll slide that down in place, release it, and put in our pins. We'll secure those pins with our clips. Once we have both sides done, we'll be ready to hook up our trailer and we can hit the road. Now for additional security, we can replace the handle locking pin with the standard lock. You'll want to use a 5 16 inch diameter shank. It will need to be at least an inch and a quarter deep and at least three quarters of an inch wide. So the opening should be at least three quarters of an inch and that should be at least an inch and a quarter tall to make the connection. And that's going to complete our look at the B&W Companion Flatbed Gooseneck to Fifth Wheel Hitch Adapter, part number BWRVK3050. Thanks for watching and click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.